Hello, hello. Can I invite a couple of people here really quick? How are you guys doing tonight? Hope everybody is doing good. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start there. Hi, Lacey. Hi, Lovely. How is everybody's Thursday night going? Mine's doing good. It's a little bit of a late night life, but that's okay. We got done with dinner here just a little bit ago, so then I was helping get kiddos settled. That way they could hang out with Dad while I'm live. What is everybody up to tonight? I have some more purdies to show everybody tonight. I got everything prepped pretty good. Computer isn't going to die in the middle of the music thing. And just so we're clear, I do not own the rights to any of the music thing. It is just on a playlist for background noise. I hate when everything's super quiet in the background drives me nuts. All right. So for those of you hopping on who know me and those who don't, I am Julia. I am the owner of Wild Prairie Bling, which is where you are right now. So welcome, welcome everybody. I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi. I am coming up on my third pop anniversary this year in May, which I am super excited about. I am in the business of fashionable, affordable, gorgeous, $5 jewelry for men and women, and we also have a kids line called Starlet Shimmer, which is a dollar. Everything I am showing tonight is all adult pieces, which are $5. I invoice through PayPal. To claim pieces, I will put numbers with the pieces that I show. As long as I'm live, you can comment the number that I show with the piece that you like and just put sold with the number. If you hop on and you happen to catch the replay and that little live button is not up in the corner, then you can just screenshot of picture of the piece that you like that I showed and then I can get that marked down for you. I invoice through PayPal. Invoicing is done on Sundays and shipping is done on Monday. So as long as your invoice is paid come Sunday upon receipt then I can ship out immediately on Monday. And that is because of where I am doing lives three nights a week. It gives everybody an opportunity to shop more lives and only have to deal with one invoice and one shipping fee. Got a migraine. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. As you're hopping on, say hello so I know you're here. If we are not friends on Facebook and you are new to the live, it doesn't always tell me who's coming in um, until you comment something. So um, the more you guys engage, the more you guys talk, the more you guys give me hearts when you like something that you see, the more Facebook keeps me circulating around and less odds are that they will exit out of my video while I'm live, okay? They like to know that people are enjoying the content that they see, so that helps me out to be able to stay live for you guys, okay? Um, my shipping fees are one to four items is $3.50, five items and up is a flat rate of five ninety five. dollars okay? Alright, we're just going to get right on into it here. I have a box full of mixed little purdies, bunches of pieces to show, and I'm already on a roll with the packaging issue. Alright, that's no good. I hope your head starts to feel better. Alright. 
Okay, so we'll just start with the piece that jumped out of the box because apparently it wanted to be seen first. We have pork chops and some garlic fried um, potatoes. That was really good. What did you guys have for dinner? If you hear some crinkling of the packaging, please don't mind it. I've been keeping everything packaged up between moving and then um, with the pandemic stuff and everything, I try to keep it secure and wrapped and safe and put away um, minimal handling and all that fun stuff, okay? So up first we have a longer gold necklace. We have gold fish hook earrings here with the stamped gold hoop. Thicker, larger gold chain. Lobster claw hook, two inch extender. Okay. And then it comes down and you got the stamped gold hoop there. And then you have a little bit of an off like diamond hammered metal. And then it alternates over to a square. A, another hammered stamped disc here. The hollow disc. A gold oval. And then back into those. It has nothing that dangles off the center. Everything's just on the sides. Okay, that is a longer gold necklace. You can make it a little bit longer if you want. It's already on the longest setting. That's what that would look like. Okay. Sitting on, it hits right right above the belly button a little ways, okay, in length. If you like this one, this gold necklace will be number 47. 47 for the gold necklace. I like pairing golds with like denim, um, dark colors as you can see it really sticks out with the black. Um, fun just a little fun piece with the different shapes and textures throughout okay that one is number 47 this is a one and done this piece is called metro scene metro scene okay Mindheim, could you put this over into my VIP group and my um, personal timeline for me? As you guys are hopping on, if you're joining in my live and you've got friends that you think would enjoy being here and getting to see the jewelry, if you share this video over to your personal timeline, tag me in the post and then come back and comment Maverick. We'll go with the theme of my Top Gun shirt here. It's one of my favorite movies. Come back and comment Maverick. That will be my share word for the night, and I will enter you into my share giveaway for a chance to win some free jewelry, okay? Oh, sweet. Thank you, hun. This packaging's giving me fits this time around. I hate that. I don't know. That's a lot of crinkling. I may just leave them sit out until after the live and then put them each back in their own packages. That's just a lot of that's gonna drive me nuts and I don't want to drive anybody else crazy with it either. ok 
Okay, so let me pin my share word down here. be shared to personal timelines. I cannot be shared into any um, for sale by trade in search of type groups um, that I am not the sole admin of. I can lose my consultantship for that. So just only share to your personal timelines, please. Or invite your friends along to join in from there. Tag them in the comments if you wish. The more the merrier. All right, let's see here. Next up, I have a pair of blue turquoise earrings. These are called Vintage Vagabond. I do also have my um, website okay, that um, gets new pieces uploaded daily, Monday through Friday. Um, which is always good to check out because when I'm in between placing new inventory orders, um, then you don't have to miss out on new releases that I may miss out on that sell quick, especially right now with Valentine's Day around the corner. They have started to release um, Valentine's Day pieces, so lots of heart pieces being released. Amazing cute pieces, but they sell out very quickly. Um, new releases hit the website at about 1 p.m., so um, you can go to enviousbling.com. And that is my website to check out daily new releases from there. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. I will put you into my. Oh, I'm gonna do it. There we go. I will get you put into share drawing here. Okay. So we've got the silver fish hook earring, and it comes down. At, of course, it has the rubber cushioned backings, which I love. They sit more comfortably up against the ears secures the earring. Okay, so you got the teardrop shaped frame here with the turquoise crackle bead in the center. And then it comes down into this metal frame design here. And you have the little silver beads that dangle on each side there and it comes down. And you have square beads and little feathery like silver dingle pendants at the end. I love turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favorite um, types of jewelry to wear along with my fringe. Okay. They are lightweight. They are not heavy at all. Dingly, shiny, very cute. Okay. If you like these, these are also a or no, I do got two pairs of those. I thought I did. Okay, so I've got two pairs of these. These are called Vintage Vagabond. Okay. I have two pairs of those. Those are going to be number 80. Number 80 for those. That's so weird. Okay, number 80 for the blue turquoise earrings. Two pairs available of those. If we can get some more viewers on, I might play a little music trivia or something tonight or get a game going. For everybody, I was just waiting for a few more viewers to hop on. That way, there's more people to play. Let's see here. there. All right. 
Dun, dun, dun. So those were number 80. If there's anything particular that you want to see, um, a, anything in a particular color or a metal, silver, copper, brass, gold, um, long necklace, short necklace, you want to see more rings, you want to see more earrings, just let me know and I can see what I got in here to pull out to show you guys. Okay, so next we have a turquoise crackle stone ring. This is a vintage ring. This is a one and done. It is on a thicker stretch band back. This would fit good for a size five to, yeah, I wanna say a 10, okay? If you need to make it smaller, you can pop the little toggles here with a pair of needle nose pliers and you just squeeze it until it pops right off the band and that'll make it fit smaller. If you need it to fit a little bit larger, you can take a heating element and it will stretch the band out for you. Okay. Now you got the blue crackle stone and you have the metal detailing. You've got like that roped silver frame there with the outer detailing there on the side. Very pretty ring. These also work great for like ponytail holders and scarf ties. Okay, so very multifunctional. Multifunctional, sorry. Okay, that'll be number 83. 83 for the first turquoise ring. Okay, that one was a one and done. That's a vintage piece. Up next, I have a daintier, smaller turquoise blue ring. This one has the smaller stretch band. Okay. Same thing with the toggles. The smaller stretch bands seem to fit a little bit more snug and a little bit smaller. So if you have smaller fingers, then these ones work really well for that. Okay, you got the little silver beads along the band here. Again, that roped silver metal frame and the smaller turquoise blue stone in the center. Okay. That one is another vintage piece. This is another one and done. Okay. That one will be number 46. 46 for the second turquoise blue ring. Number 46. Houston, yeah, buddy. I need my karaoke back. <laughs> I miss my karaoke. All right, so up next we have a silver um, dainty short necklace. This is also a vintage one and done piece. You have silver fish hook earrings, again with the rubber backing, and you have the little silver toggle bead two bead right there that dangles off the earring. Silver mid-size chain lobster claw hook with a two inch extender and it comes out with all the little silver to be dangling beads there. Okay, this is a shorter necklace so on this piece would sit just about like that. Very cute for everyday, very simplistic. Fun little piece. Okay. This is another one and done. Okay. 
you can make it sit a little bit longer. It was on its shortest setting there, okay. So that is that piece. That one will be number 40. The little silver necklace will be number 40. karaoke and dancing. I do. Hopefully there'll be more to getting back to that this year. How's everybody's weather where they're at? We're getting some pretty decent snow here right now. Here jamming out. Don't mind me. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bump my camera out of focus there. Okay. All right. So Up next, I have a, another long gold pretty necklace. This is called the Key to Mom's Heart. I have three of these available. These would make a very cute Mother's Day gift. Um, if you're into giving your mom a gift or um, if your kid wants to give mom a gift um, for Mother's Day, then this would be a good piece for that. It is extra long. just cold here but that's all yeah I would be okay if the snow went away <laughs> I want nice weather back I am NOT a cold weather type person I'm really not although we did take the kids out shooting today and went and played around in the trucks and played in the snow a bit so that was fun all right so this is on a very dainty gold chain Lobster claw hook with that two inch extender. It is on its shortest setting now, so you could make this even longer, um, but it is pretty long. So first we got the goldfish hook earrings, and you've got the crystal gemstone at the center of those. There, okay. And then it's gonna come down into the gold key, okay. A giant gold key it says mom in the center and that's readable from both sides and then you have the little tiny crystal heart deco bead there charm there and then the gemstone charm there to match the earrings okay and you can see all the little cuts in that stone there super cute piece for mom it is longer so this one will come right at the belly button mark um, you can double it up as well and kind of wear it as like a double layer okay what is that piece I have three of those available That one will be number six. Number six for the gold heart mom key necklace. Okay, number six. Okay. So three of those available. Very cute mom gift. I like that piece. I like my longer necklaces, um, especially like with sweaters or um, if you have a shirt that kind of has like cutouts here, but then it goes down to the center, then wearing the longer ones with that allows the neckline where it might have a little bit of cutout to show, but you can still decorate the clothing up with it. Um, I kind of 
have to watch when I wear my young my long pieces though because my youngest likes to tug on the jewelry so he even tries ripping my earrings out sometimes so I gotta be careful <laughs> but I love my jewelry I love wearing it I feel good when I wear my jewelry so we just go with the flow and I just don't let him tug on me a whole lot I am kind of looking for some feedback as well so if you guys are hopping on and you guys have followed me for a while um, and everything and you guys have specific schedules I'm more than likely my schedule is going to be for sure I will be live um, I'm doing minimal lives of at least three nights a week um, Sundays I won't be doing anything except for working on invoicing and packaging um, that way everything's ready to ship come Monday um, and stuff. Uh, my boys' schooling schedule, I do homeschool my two older boys, so um, lives will be any time after probably about 2.30 in the afternoon. That way I can get baby down for a nap as well. So if there are times that work best for everybody during the week, like you like the late night lives or you like earlier lives, um, giving me some feedback as to like when lives work best for you to tune in and catch them then that lets me kind of know how to cater to you guys to make sure that you guys are able to hop on and see the videos and stuff too that work for your schedule so always appreciate that feedback Next, I have some silver post earrings. These are called Very Viper. They're like that snake chain type style. If they want to come out of the package, that is. goodness there we go good lord okay okay so silver post earring with the snake like chain they are on a post with the metal silver backings So that is those. It comes along the snake like and they just drape. Okay. So they just lay on the ear just like that. Kind of a fun, different, unique style piece. Okay. These are a one and done as well. Again, those were called Very Viper. If you like those, and those are going to be number 19. 19 for the silver snake chain earrings. Number 19. Those ones are very lightweight. There's like no weight to those at all. So they would be very comfortable to wear. Those are a good everyday piece because they are simple and um, the way that they lay down the ear and drape down the ear. Very good for a classic daily look. Okay, number 19 for those. Those are a one and done. Up 
next is another pair of silver. Fish hook vintage earrings. These are called Radically Retro. Okay, I only have one available of these. You got the silver tube bead base here, silver fish hook back with the rubber back holders. They're gonna come down and they're gonna drape into like a silver little bead curtain here that dangles. Okay, just like that. If you have like a leather jacket um, or anything like that, those would really dress up a leather jacket or an outfit with leather pants. Kind of like a rocker chic look, okay? Very lightweight, again, also not heavy at all. Okay. Those are a one and done. Those are gonna be number 72. 72 if you like those earrings. Now we got Madonna playing, yeah. I love my 80s playlist. What's everybody's favorite 80s song? Number 72 for those, those are one and done. If you are not liking and following my business page, be sure you do that and turn on notifications to all posts. That way it um, alerts you for my lives and you're not missing out on anything. Um, I do do games and contests and giveaways and all sorts of stuff there. I also have my VIP group, um, which I will do special um, shop the box opportunities, um, first sneak peeks for new inventory that I order. Um, and like very exclusive um, access to special things for my VIPs. So if you're not in my VIP group and you want that special access um, that the VIPs get before anybody else, then be sure to let me know and I will get you an invite over to my VIP group. These are kind of a fun earring. I have two of these available. They are a gold earring. Okay, gold fish hook earring. Again, rubber backing, and these are kind of just like a um, gold leaf style here. Okay. With the gold frame at the center. Okay. That is how those would sit. Okay. Again, lightweight, not heavy at all. Okay. I've got two available of those. Those will be number 11. Number 11 for the gold leaf earrings if you like those. Okay, number 11. Two available of those. Also, too, as well, um, it's a new thing that I'm going to be doing, but um, if anybody has, like, little girls 
and they've got birthday parties coming up. Um, I can put together a little girl's um, party favor bags for the birthday girl and then her friends. Okay, so if that's something that interests you and you have a daughter with a birthday coming up or something, just let me know and we can see about arranging that. Okay, and it would have starlit shimmer pieces inside the little um, gift baggies for everybody. Hey, Kayla. Okay, up next I have a brown ring. This is called Wall Street Whimsical. Again, you got the stretch band back. And then you've got the silver base here. And it has a very white like sandstone imitation pearl in the center. Okay. Hi Angel. Oh, it's going pretty good, hun. How's your night going? I got my 80s playlist going, so having a bit of fun with that. Okay, so that is that ring. This is a vintage ring, and it is a one and done. Okay, kind of show you on different fingers there. Okay. This one will be number 18 number 18 for that brown imitation pearl ring that is a one and done I'm like drinking soda and it's just not like satisfying so I'm like really wanting coffee but I'm like <clears throat> I just don't want to leave the camera long enough to make a cup that's good. How's your night going, hun? What are you guys up to? I'm trying to stay warm. We're getting like crazy snow here. Okay, so these are a pair of... It's too late for coffee. Hun! <laughs> I can drink coffee all day, every day. There is no such thing as it's too late for coffee. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> Not for this chick. All right, so we have a pair of hammered gold clip-on earrings. Okay, so if you do not have pierced ears, then we do have the clip-on earrings. These also make very unique and different um, men's shirt cuff for their sleeves okay that's another fun way to utilize and wear those okay so one pair of these left they are a clip on hammered gold earring those are number 93 93 for those Pip, what are you doing you're on my pen printer, you crazy kitty. <laughs> the cat likes to sleep on my printer. And then Nala's behind my chair. <laughs> crazy cat. We thought that Pip was a girl, and we recently found out that he is, in fact, a little boy. <laughs> I was like, whoops. We were giving him a mistaken case of identity. <laughs> Poor cat. Yeah, Pip, you're gonna fall. Psycho cat. Psycho kitty. Crazy animals. Oh, 
Oh no, I got the one that's similar to this. Okay, so I have another gold necklace that's really similar to this that could be um, layered with it for a really good um, stacked look. This one is a longer gold necklace. You have the gold fish hook earrings with just the gold hoop here, large gold chain, lobster claw hook, two inch extender, and it comes down and you have like triple layers of gold hoops here. You've got two shimmery hoops and then one solid gold hoop. So it's kind of got like that stamped middle. I'm trying to get it to focus to show you guys if it's stamped. Okay, so there you can kind of see it that it's kind of got like that etching stamped look to it. And then you've got the solid, just shiny gold. And you've got multiples of those that come all the way down on that chain. Okay, so that comes clear down like so. That sits right above the belly button as well. You can make it longer, it's on its shortest one. Um, or you could double it up. Or I've got another gold one that you could stack with it and make a really pretty stack. Oh, I just wanted to take it on and say hi. I'm off to back at work in the morning. Okay, hon, I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. Okay. I need to go back to, like, my earlier day lives and stuff, especially during the week. I think it's easier for everybody to hop on and catch them, like, right in between that dinner rush mark. Um, especially during the week, it's hard for everybody to do later light later night lives with school and kiddos I totally get it so I've been playing around with different times and all that stuff and we'll get it down we will get it down for sure okay so that is a one and done that one is gonna be 95 for the large gold necklace that piece is called ring ring bling Okay, that'll be 95 for the really long, large gold necklace. Maybe tomorrow night I'll do a um, kids live, and or tomorrow during the day or something, and show some kids pieces. It's been a while since I've done a kids live. is getting stuck underneath my box here. I was like, oh no. So this is called Artesian Artifact. This is a multi-colored turquoise blue necklace. You have a mix of brass and silver chain. Okay. You have the crackle turquoise bead here on the brass fish hooks. Okay. Partial brass chain here comes down into the rope hoop and then it changes out to the silver and back into the brass. This is an asymmetrical necklace, you guys. Okay, and then you got the turquoise bead here, the large turquoise disc here back into the silver and it just mixes throughout between the silver and the brass and then you've got the hammered metal pendant here and on the other side it trades off so this is a longer necklace as well okay that one sits right above the belly button as well you can double that up so if you kind of go want to go with like a total unique um, 
different bold look than mixing that brass and that silver together does that. Okay. Again, that is called Artesian Artifact. I have one of those available. And that is going to be number 12. Number 12 for that piece. Okay, number 12. It is definitely a piece with its very own style setting with the mixture between the silver and the brass metal. This piece you could play around and make a set out of it. It would be a full matching set. Very cute and pretty. Okay. okay, first up we have a brown leather like wrap bracelet and set at the center it has the silver pendant frame here it goes into that roped outer edging and then you have the large turquoise crackle stone bead in the center there this is a brown leather Soft suede backed bracelet. It has two rows of the silver snap so it can adjust. It fits really good for smaller or larger wrists. On, it's going to look like this. Okay. Very pretty bracelet. I have one of these for myself. have one of these bracelets available. Journey. Okay, that bracelet will be number 53. 53 for the brown leather large turquoise stone bracelet. Number 53. One available of it. Again, um, at the end of the live, the numbers will go away. They will not be with the piece anymore. So if you are hopping on and catching the replay and you like something and you want to claim it, then you just take a screenshot of the piece that you like and send it to me, and I will get you marked down for it, okay? To pair with that, if you like, I have a shorter silver bead turquoise necklace. Silver fish hook earrings, crackle stone turquoise bead, dainty earring there, lobster claw hook, two inch extender. It is on its shortest setting right now. You have the thick silver bead chain, and then it comes into the dangling silver and turquoise bead. Dingles here. You got the different size turquoise beads, and then you've got the teardrop stones turquoise stones that dangle off the end there. Okay, It cascades along the neck just like so. Okay, Very pretty piece and that bracelet makes it look super beautiful together in a set. Okay, I have two of these necklaces available. So that 
will be number 32 for the silver turquoise necklace. Okay, number 32. I have two of those available. And then I also have two pairs of these blue multi-beaded turquoise stretch bracelets which you can wear as a stack if you like to stack them up for a more bold, chunky look. Okay. It's a fun, fun bracelet to wear stacked. Okay. You have the little floral silver spacer beads, the blue turquoise crackle stones, the flat crackle stones and then you have like a wavering hammered silver disc spacer right in the center of that and that goes all throughout the band and this is just a stretch band okay again I've got two available of those as well so you can make those a set with that necklace as well those are going to be number 25 for the little turquoise bracelets okay number 25 for those I have two available of those. Okay. And if you really want to dress it up and add even another piece for it to be a set and kind of customize it to be your very own unique set, I have this large teardrop shaped turquoise crackle stone ring with all the silver kind of like little silver bubble detailing around the outer part and you can either wear it down on the finger like that or you can tip it to where the point goes okay. So whichever way you prefer this one would make a really pretty like scarf tie or a ponytail holder as well okay so that is that ring gorgeous ring I have one for myself I love it I wear it a lot okay very comfortable the bands do not pinch this is gonna fit a size probably between like that's about a 6 to a 10 pretty comfortably Okay. again you got those little tips and tricks that I told you earlier about that if you need to make it smaller you can just pinch one of the little toggles off here and it'll make it smaller if you need it larger you just take a little heating element to it and let it stretch that band out Okay. I have one of those available And that is going to be number 24 for the large turquoise teardrop shaped ring. Okay, number 24. I have one available left of it. Okay. Next, I have some silver kind of blingy earrings here. 
here. These are a fish hook earring. These are called Real Queen. They are a white earring. Okay. You have the silver fish hook. Okay. Rubber backing. You have the large crystal stone there in the center. Then it comes down to a silver double hoop, little pendant there at the bottom. Okay, on. Those would sit just about like that. Lightweight again, nothing super heavy. You can see all the cut so it catches the light and it's going to show the light in those very pretty. Those are another vintage piece. Those are a one and done. Okay. So those are going to be number five. Number five for the white crystal earrings. Number five. This one has a lot of Michael Jackson on it. This playlist. It does, it does, it does. Next, I've got another pair of silver hoop earrings. These are called All Chime High. I have a pair of these myself. I love these earrings. Okay. These are a fun, very pretty earring. Silver fish hook back with the rubber backing. Okay, comes into that silver hoop there, and then you have kind of like a gypsy boho style earring very cute. These ones have a little bit of weight to them, but they're not extremely heavy. Okay, and they are the little hammered silver discs there in the center. So focus. There we go. Now you can see that hammered detailing on them. And then it comes down and you have the several of the hammered silver discs there at the bottom. It's very dingly, fun, eerie. I have two of these available. On those are gonna sit just about like that. Okay. Very cute earrings. Very pretty. Okay. If you have like a Renaissance fair or anything that you like going to, and that's going on this year, and everybody will be able to go to that type of stuff again, then those would be very cute and perfect for something like that. These are going to be number 23. Again, those were called All Chime High. Those are number 23. Okay, I've got two pairs of those available. Two pairs of those available. do believe that you were the only one that uh, shared tonight love so you are an automatic um, share giveaway winner
you'll get a free piece of jewelry, hun. So I just need to know what kind of style of jewelry that you like or if you have something that you've seen tonight that you like, um, that you would like to take for your free piece, then just let me know. I still have a few more pieces to show for tonight. Um, and then I just need um, your email and a shipping address, hun, so I can get that sent out to you. And congratulations. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Up next I have another silver ring. This is called Radical Radius. It is a stamped design multi intertwined hoop ring. Okay, my stretch band back. Just sits across the finger like that. I'm prone to wearing them on my first finger, especially when I wear them on this hand because I've got my wedding ring and everything that I wear. And my first little engagement ring um, that I wear on this hand so um, I tend to wear it on that one but um, kind of gives it different look when it's on different fingers okay I've got two of those available again that's called radical radi radius it is a little silver ring that one will be number 92 92 for that silver ring Again, everything is $5, lead and nickel free. Next, I have another silver necklace. This is called Going for Glamma. So cute um, gift for grandma. It has a pink little gemstone at the center. It is a longer necklace as well. You have these silver fish hook earrings the gemstone little crystal in the center lobster claw hook two inch extender thin silver dainty chain and it comes down and you have a cluster of the little crystal gemstones at the top and then you have the silver pendant etched that says glamma and it has that pink little gemstone there in the center cute little pendant necklace. I have one available of these and it says Glamma. It is a longer necklace so it'll sit right at that belly button mark. That will be number 87. 87 for the Glamma necklace. One available of it. Okay, number 87.
Up next, I have another pair of silver earrings. These are super pretty. These are called Just Say Noir. Okay. They have like that French style lacing look. Silver fish hook earring, rubber backing. That French kind of like lacy look. At the top, you have a cluster of little silver like beads that have a flower look to them there. And then it comes down into the honeycomb style grayish silver beads. Starts out small and then it comes down into like that teardrop style one there at the end. Okay. Very pretty. Does it sit just about like that? Sparkly, shimmery. They catch the light very pretty. Not super heavy. Very pretty earrings for a date night or a dinner. Okay. I have one pair available of those. Those will be number seven. Number seven for those. pair available. These are another silver earring. These are so gorgeous. They're a little bit of a fancier earring, but I would wear them every day just to wear them. Okay, these are called Priceless. When you see these, I wouldn't believe that they were only $5. Like, just absolutely gorgeous. Silver fish hook earring, rubber backing. You have the squared gemstone crystal at the top. Cat's eye teardrop style. It'll hoop there. And then you have the larger diamond cut crystal gemstone in the center that dangles. They catch the light. You can see all the cuts in the stone there. Absolutely gorgeous. I only have one pair available of these. Okay. Lightweight, again, not heavy at all. If you like bling and you like shimmer and shine, then these are right up your alley. These are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, one available of those. Those will be number 22. for those earrings. So pretty. It's one of my favorite pair of earrings. Okay, number 22 for those. Again, those were called priceless. I have one available.
next I have a couple more silver vintage rings. This one almost kind of reminds me of like a knight's ring that you would kind of see like with a knight in armor. Okay. This is a silver floral kind of design stamped ring. Comes to that point. Kind of looks like it's a cutout piece of a knight's metal um, glove, right? Yeah. I think it's really cool. And then at the top it kind of like grooves inward. Okay. So it kind of curves around that knuckle there. Stretch band back. So that's the detailing in that piece there. Okay, so that's the detail. I got one available of these. That one will be number eight. So number eight for that silver ring. The knight armor ring, okay, number eight. And then I have just a simple silver layered banded ring. Okay. This one I think kind of looks better in the center, on that center finger. So that is that ring. Simple, cute, everyday ring. That one will be number 10. Number 10 for the simple silver ring. And you'll notice that the ones right in the center, they crisscross just to give it a little bit different detailing. Okay, number 10 for that ring. This is a fun, longer necklace. If I can get it to lay right. Oh, all the pieces want to do their own thing. It's got a mind of its own right at the moment. longer silver necklace, silver fish hook earrings, and you have the natural silver stones there, and they're going to look, these are kind of like more of a triangle shape, but they're going to differ in shape because they're supposed to be like a natural stone. So you got the cut through there. This is a dainty multi-layer silver chain comes clear down and at the center you have more of the little silver crystal stones that match the earrings and they're centered inside a multi-layer like hexagon pendant okay the middle one is thicker silver than the other two so you kind of have that 3d dimensional shape going on with that with the charm that hangs in the center very cute fun necklace this sits right above the belly button okay you can make it a little bit shorter if you want or you can layer double layer it I only have one of this one available That is going to be number 52. Number 52 
for that necklace. The hexagon crystal necklace. It's number 52. Super fun, cute necklace. I like that it has like different shapes attached to it. It kind of sets it apart from just regular average pieces that you see. A little different, a little edgier. Okay, so number 52 for that. That is the only one available that I have of that. What is it playing right now? last silver necklace that I have to show you tonight. It is a longer necklace. This is called Unlock My Heart. It is a heart key style necklace. Again, it is a longer necklace. You have the silver fish hook earrings, the paparazzi famous tassel chain earrings, lobster claw hook, two inch extender, larger silver chain, and it comes into the cut out heart large pendant there at the bottom. Okay, so it just looks like a giant heart key. <laughs> so one available of those that is a one and done very cute for valentine's day and make a cute little valentine's day gift okay that one will be number 94 What are you doing? You keep making me think that the kids are like awake and messing around. Crazy cats digging at the gate. Okay, so number 94 for the heart key necklace. It is longer, so that'll sit right at the belly button mark, okay, as well. But again, you can double it up or wear it shorter. Okay, number 94 for that. That is a one and done. Okay. If you are hopping on, for those that know me and those that don't, I am Julia. This is Wild Prairie Bling. I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi. I am coming up on my third Papaversary here in May. I am showing gorgeous $5 jewelry. We have stuff for men and women. We also have a kids line called Starlet Shimmer, which is a dollar. Um, I will be doing a kids live here very soon. Everything I'm showing tonight are the $5 pieces um, to claim as long as you're seeing that red live. I am putting numbers with the pieces. So you just comment sold and the number to the piece that you like. And then I will get you invoice for that. If you are being on and catching the replay, the numbers will not be with the pieces at the end of the replay um, or at the end of the live. So just screenshot a picture of the piece that you like and send it to me and then I can get that to you. I invoice through PayPal. Invoicing is done on Sundays and invoices are due upon receipt because I will ship out immediately come Monday. Um, I am doing minimal three nights of lives a week, so I'm giving everybody a chance to shop more than just one live um, and only have to catch one invoice and then one shipping fee. Okay? Everything is lead and nickel free. If you're hopping on, say hello as you show up so I know that you're here. Again, that heart key necklace was number, oops, 94. 94 for the heart key necklace. Only have one available of it. As you can see, everything stays secure in its packaging here. That's the crinkling that you're hearing. Um, I've been keeping everything packaged and kept up. 
um, safe with minimal handling. To its packaging. Okay, so these are another um, silver white earring. These are a post earring. They have the silver post back holders. These are all shimmery crystal like cut earrings. Okay. They drape down the ear. So they start out with the larger crystal pendant and then they get smaller towards the end here. Kind of like water drops trickling down. Okay. You have all the pretty cut that you can see in each gemstone there all the way to the end very shimmery and sparkly very pretty okay. these ones have a little bit of weights to them but nothing super bad very pretty eye-catching piece okay definite conversation starter gorgeous earrings these are a one and done. Those are called red carpet radiance. Again, those are a post earring. Those will be number 66. 66 for those. I love how they dangle down the ear. That's super cute. Okay. One pair of those available. Okay, up next, this is called Wistfully Winchester. It is a solid silver earring. It is a hoop style. And you kind of have like a floral, I wouldn't really say floral, but it's got like a multi little weaving design through it. Okay, so silver fish hook earring, rubber backing, then it comes down into the silver hoop, and you can see you just kind of got like all those different like weaves of little designs throughout the hoop there that are the roped style. Okay. Cute silver hoop earring. Okay, very shimmery. These are lightweight, they're not heavy at all. That's the design on those, and we're up close. Okay. I have one pair of those available. And those are gonna be number 41. 41 for those silver earrings. That's Wistfully Winchester. It's okay. number 41 for those. Okay. Very cute 
perfect everyday earring. One pair available of those. much of a nap earlier either, so. Okie dokie. I have a few more pairs of vintage earrings here. So these are all clip-on earrings, so perfect if you do not have pierced ears. Okay, these are a teardrop style, little shimmery earring, got the clip on. Okay, you have the larger crystal cut gemstone in the center, and then at the bottom you have the tiny little silver gemstones that line the bottom. Again, those are a clip-on earring, so those would sit just like that. Okay. I have one of those available. So it'll be number 90 for the first clip-on pair of earrings. Number 90. pair that I have are just a silver flower like earring again clip on so perfect if you don't have pierced ears just a simple silver blooming flower earring on that's what those would look like So these will be number 89, 89 for the silver flower clip-ons, 89 for those. Okay, and the, oh, I got two pairs of those available, not just one. So again, that's the same the same earring. So I've got two pairs of those, so that'll be number 89 as well. Two pairs of the silver flower clip-ons. Those were number 89. about just had numbers fall over the floor. Oh no. That would have been bad. That would have been a big mess to clean up. <laughs> Don't need to do that. Okay, and the last piece that I have to show you tonight is usually the one that remembers the name of that um, Harry Potter uh, ball thing that they chase in the movie. Okay. So 
So this is a longer gold necklace. You have the gold fish hook earrings and it has the gold solid bead at the bottom of the earring. Larger gold chain, lobster claw hook, two inch extender. It is on its last setting so you could make it longer. It will The tassels will hang right above the belly button. You have the big gold pendant here. Globe, the big gold globe there. And then it comes down into the tassel charm and it has the different length tassels hanging from it. This is a vintage piece, one and done. Okay, so it sits clear down by the belly button. This is called Big Baller. Okay, so gold statement necklace, longer. Okay. With its matching earrings. One available of it. That is going to be number 38. 38 for that gold necklace. Hmm. Get it back up here. Okay. 38 for the big baller gold necklace. Okay. Number 38. One available of it. And that would be our last feature piece for this evening. Again, if you hop on and you do not see the little red live button, that means you're catching the replay, which that is perfectly all right too. If you see a piece that you like, do not go by the number as the numbers will not be with the pieces um, once the live is ended. Just um, screenshot me a picture of the piece that you like and then send it to me and I will get that taken care of for you. Okay. If you do claim a piece, then I will need you to send me your email and your shipping information. I will send invoices out for anything claimed on Sunday. And then once invoices are paid, which they are due upon receipt, I will ship everything out come Monday. That is my invoicing and shipping days. Okay. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces that you've seen. If you have any special requests for specific pieces that you would like to see on my next live, then um, leave me those suggestions over on my business page. And that's where you are now, Wild Prairie Bling Boutique. Okay. And that way I can kind of know um, what you guys would like to see more of and I can get that feedback from you guys which is extremely helpful to me. Okay. And I will be happy to show those pieces for you on my next live. You can catch me again live tomorrow. So just watch for my announcement that I will be live. Um, tomorrow I may do a kids live and show some kids pieces. So um, if you got little ones, you'll be able to shop for them tomorrow. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all your support. Hope to see you back here tomorrow and for my next live. Bye.